Good day y'all, welcome to another episode. Today we'll, we'll be going through Home Assistant and installing three of my favorite add-ons for ease of administration. First thing you want to do is go down to your name, scroll down, and ensure we've got advanced mode enabled. This will allow us to access some of the hidden features that only advanced mode enables. Let's add our first add-on. So let's go to settings, add-ons, and by default, you probably have none. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the store and we're going to install terminal and SSH, which will allow uh, remote logging in and we'll be able to exit the CLI to paste in commands. Let's click on install. Next, what we want to do is ensure the watchdog has been started. This will allow us to um, tell the add-on to restart if it does crash. Also, the auto update, so you can update automatically to fix any bugs. And we'll click show in the sidebar and click on start. In the top right, you can verify it is turned on. And if we go to the open web UI, it will present us with the CLI to administer the system. Samba, which will allow us to access our uh, repositories from a external site, drag and drop files. So let's click on install. What we want to do is also allow the watchdog so it's re-enabled if it crashes as well as auto update. Before we click start, let's go to configuration. Let's change our username and give it a password. This will be the username and password utilized to authenticate from your external uh, repositories. So if you want to access it from your computer, this is, this is the username and password you will require to authenticate to. Scroll down, click save. Back to info, click on start, and give a couple of seconds to make sure it's started up. You can see it's been started up in the top right with the green icon. For the next one, we're going to go to the search bar and type in VS and install Studio Code Server. It is a version of VS Code that will allow us to access our configuration files in YAML or any other format in the Home Assistant repositories. Let's click on install. Once it's downloaded and installed, let's click on and enable the watchdog, the auto update and show in the sidebar. Let's click on start. Give it a couple of seconds and if our red icon turns into green, everything is working successfully. Let's verify it is working by opening up the web UI. And as we can see, this is our configuration file of Home Assistant. And this is some of the folders, uh, correction, some of the files we'll be configuring in the next videos. Thank you for joining us for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, leave me a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see in the next future videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.